Hey YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Have another haul for ya. Uh, went to the knock down, drag them out back garage sale at the Salvation Army. Um, got a couple interesting things. I spent, I think she said $12, and then I think it was just under $13 with tax. So I'll have to show you what I got. Witnessed a fight today. <laughs> Uh, people were upset because people were pushing and shoving. So um, I am actually have a clip I'm going to show you after I show you what I got. So you can kind of see what was going on. I had already picked out what I was going to pick out. So it's a little bit crazier when people first run in. But it was interesting as usual. As you could tell, I'm getting over a cold. Every time I travel, I get sick, either if it's by plane or if I drive. So I'm just getting over that. I feel a lot better, but I still sound pretty stuffy. Uh, I guess the first item I'll show you, if you can see it, is one of those uh, Audubon Society uh, clocks where it has the birds. And on the hour, it strikes and that makes a uh, different bird noise. Um, these, uh, probably between $30 and $40 on eBay. The Audubon Society ones go for more, um, than the other one I had in a previous video. So that was a pretty good find. Uh, first brought it in and, uh, put the batteries in and it wasn't working. So I kind of started to take the bag off and jiggled a few things and it started working. So yay! I was very glad. Um... Let me show you, I got a Longer Burger uh, recipe book, fresh home from the pantry. It's a hardcover book. It's got some really pretty pictures in it. So I looked this up. I'm going to actually end up selling this in my antique booth. I put $6 on that. Got an Elvis Presley record from the 50s. It's got a little bit of a stain up there on the top, so that kind of hurts the value. Plus, the paper sleeve inside is missing. Uh, the record doesn't look in too bad a shape. I put $15 on that. On eBay, they are just crazy between $100 bucks down to $2, $3. So, it's kind of crazy on there. Um, if it was in better shape, didn't have the stain, and uh, had the sleeve and everything, I would probably put it on there for more. But, $15 bucks ain't bad. Uh, got some books. Uh, these were actually in very good condition. They are large print. Um, there's 16 of them. The three on the right are not large print. The rest are, I believe, uh, love inspired. A lot of them are um, actually the suspense, uh, the ones that are purple. But they don't look like they've been read or anything. I mean, there's nowhere on the spine at all. So, 16 bucks for all those. Um, out at my antique booth, I have a, uh, a spinner for books. So, those will go out. Uh, this was interesting. Didn't realize um, it's actually metal. It's a wall hanging. It has a price of $8 on it. Um, I put $12. Um, we live near Lake Erie, so lighthouses, uh, anything nautical seems to do really good. I got three things of perfume. Now, these are not any kind of name brand. I haven't really looked them up. Um, you Rock. This one actually says it is a designer knockoff. This one, can you see stuff floating in the bottom? Yeah. So, I'm going to throw that one out. There was actually four. One got busted in the box, so I had to switch out the boxes real quick. And needless to say, uh, on the way home, I smelled like a French whore. Not that I know what a French whore smells like, but I can only imagine. A cheap one at that. So, yeah. So I had to empty that out. Nothing else got ruined. The box, or the books were on top. So nothing got soaked. But, yeah. It could have been a smelly ride home had I not noticed that. I uh, got one of these uh, um, silicone... Uh, baking things. You can also use these for like the Jello Jigglers. Uh, you can make soap in them, but you shouldn't make food after you make soap. But I sell these all the time, and they're gingerbread men. 
so I'll do some research on that. I was still doing research when I actually got the chance to do the video, so that's why I didn't have everything priced out. These are really cool. Um, these are older. They say Japan on the back. They also say, let me see, uh, Royal Hari or something. Very fine Japan, it says on the bottom. Um, these are in really good shape. I was very surprised. Um, so I got this one. I got that one. I got that one. And guess what? The piece was not in the box, so I can only imagine that this actually happened. Uh, and I just, they were kind of wrapped, so I just grabbed them. So, yeah. If you notice uh, in the video that I'm going to show you uh, that I took the footage, it you know, it, it's almost upsetting to see how much stuff is thrown on the floor and stepped on and broken and dirty. It is a waste. So, it's sad, actually. In fact, the clock I showed you, the bird clock, had... Uh, was on the floor and people were stepping around it and I grabbed it before it got stepped on. Um, this is a little pillowcase uh, that's got a stain on it, so I'm going to wash it. But this was actually in the same box as one of these little uh, Moses baskets for like a doll. So I grabbed that up. It actually had handles on it <laughs> and the handles were busted, so I took them off and snipped the thread. So I'm going to wash this. Hopefully that'll come out. I'll restuff it and put it in. So, yeah. There was a blanket too, but it was completely beyond help. <laughs> a bag of Barbie stuff. I got a Bible. Uh, this uh, charger plate uh, actually looks like it is, uh, what do you call it? It's not really carved. It's like a wood burn. It doesn't have anything on the back, so I couldn't tell you how old or where it's from. I'm doing research on this, but it looks like I'll probably get maybe $15 to $20, depending on if I put it on eBay or not. This is actually not used at all. It is, shopping is cheaper than therapy. Amen. <laughs> so it's got this uh, uh, magnetic front. And nothing's in it, so I don't know if I'm going to sell that or use it, I don't know. This I thought was interesting. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or just hang on to it and look at it. And it is Rosemary's Secondary Market Price Guide for Hallmark Ornaments. I thought that was pretty interesting. I, it says 1997, 11th edition. So I guess with these collector guides, though, a lot of this stuff... They sell these because you can find the information online, but you kind of figure, hopefully the price goes up, not down on a lot of these. But I thought that was fascinating, and I thought, ah, what the heck, I'll take a look, and then look it up and see if it's going for anything, but that was an easy find. Um, I'm thinking that's all I got. So, like I said, came to $12.00. And with tax, it was $12.96. So not too bad. Interesting, as always. I'm going to ask you to please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you find anything particularly interesting. And I'm going to show you next the footage of when I was actually done picking. So, uh... Please uh, take a look. Let me know what you think. Like I said, it is a fascinating place. So until next time, happy picking. Bye.